Training is underway for NASA's new astronaut class. 12 candidates are set to join the space agency. Today they got a chance to talk about their experience. Channel 2's Lee Ferlisi talked to one candidate who is from Sugar Land. So what does day two look like for astronauts in training at the Johnson Space Center? They started off with interviews, then they spoke with their counterparts at the International Space Station. And for one local woman, this is all a dream come true. Getting that call. It's about a couple seconds of just complete silence. To train to become a NASA astronaut. I got off the phone with them and called everyone in my family and, and there were some tears and it was really, ex really exciting. Is something Clements High School graduate Laurel O'Hara will never forget. I mean, this has been kind of my dream since I was a little kid. Um, growing up in Missouri City and then Sugar Land, I got to go to Johnson a lot. Now on day two, as a part of Johnson's new astronaut candidate class, a long, long distance call with the International Space Station, giving O'Hara and her classmates a chance to ask those who have trained before them about what's ahead. Well, astronaut candidacy was a long time ago. <laughs> An aerospace engineer who previously worked on deep sea vehicles like turned out to be a great combination for this astronaut in training. Kind of similar work to, to what we do in the space program. Um, you are working with a small group um, in a confined space out on a research vessel with limited tools and um, I think that was a big you know, that was a big part of what helped me get here. Those who finish the two year training will be astronauts. After that, you could say the sky's the limit, but this class is ready to go beyond. I think we're all excited to about the prospect of exploring other planets, you know, going to the moon or going to Mars. Their training over the next two years will consist of learning the International Space Station systems. They'll learn space walking. They'll also learn about future vehicles like SpaceX and Dragon 2. At the Johnson Space Center, Lee Ferlisi, KPRC, Channel 2 News.